Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to Monday, the 27th of May. This is Memorial Day here in the States. So uh, a shout out to all of those that uh, paid the ultimate price for protecting us and keeping us free here in the United States. And uh, for whatever similar thing you guys have in other countries. But uh, what we're going to do today on this 72 degree at the moment day is we're going to try out the LS2 for the first time. We're going to give this thing a shot, see how it works. And because this shield, even though, which is really weird, when you're riding down the road, that is probably the smoothest shield for you as the rider but for whatever reason it makes the helmet noisy i think it's the way it it uh the wind spins around the edges there it hits the sides of the helmet and um i don't know it just it makes the helmet loud but it's very smooth and very comfortable to ride behind i have no plans of taking it off <laughs> that thing lived on my iron for a long time years ago so anyway we're gonna try and see that I haven't even hit record. I have no idea if the camera works, the mic works. I've never ridden with the helmet. So everything is gonna be a first for myself and all you guys. Let's go give her a shot. All right, this is test number one. Hope the mics are working. <laughs> We'll see how this gal works going down the road. Kelly's, uh, she's taking a little nap, so uh, she knew I was leaving. Ooh, Squallborn may be a little warm for uh, for these temps. Well, here we are at highway speeds. And, uh, <laughs> it's, it's not bad at all. Heck yeah, that's not bad at all. No complaints. Man. It's funny how you go from a Saturday that started off cloudy. It was only supposed to rain towards the end of the day. The rain kicked in early and dumped. So I was a uh, I felt like I was a little too warm with this uh, Icon uh, Squallhorn jacket on. So, if you guys remember when I first showed you this jacket, the crazy armpit vents, because they extend about halfway down the jacket, more than halfway down the jacket. Yeah, easily more than halfway down. Just, it goes from your armpit, like, you know, my right arm, it starts in your pit, goes past your pit, and goes whoosh down the side of the jacket. Oh man, does this thing breathe really well. And it's a double zipper, so you could, you know, you could have a little at the bottom, a little at the top, you can adjust it. So there's zippers top and bottom. So you can mess around with it and find whatever's comfortable. I just have it wide open at the moment. And it's breathing really, really well. Nice. Oh yeah. The LS2 sees its first train. The old 48's gonna see one too. A lot of Canadian stuff, well, Canada is just right up the road, but it seems like I'm seeing more Canadian stuff than, than usual here lately. Even seen one of the uh, engines come by that was from Mexico. That's even cooler yet. <laughs> I've been sitting here a bit. This sucker is long, crazy long. Gotta be an end to it eventually. It's amazing how long the trains are up here. I mean, it was very inaccurate because it was at a distance, but I was going across I-84. I think I was in Oregon. 
going across the plains there and I tried to count this thing out. As far as I can figure, this thing was about seven miles long. That's very inaccurate, I'm sure. I don't know how long they let these things get, but man, it just went on and on and on. And it was just one of those that was, uh, I don't know why it was going so slow, but you could tell it was all but stopped. It was just sitting there. We got red on red going that way. Motocross and short suspended 48. Heck yeah, man. definitely want to look at these things because man something like an Amtrak they can come through here so fast these shocks sure do work good but they're short so <laughs> they're a little on the stiff side that's all right that's how I know how this thing rides look at all the flags That's one thing about a small town. Man, are they patriotic. That's a lot of flags. That's way cool. That's pretty cool catching the train. I was literally about to come on and mention, I, I'm not, because I realized where I'm going, I wasn't paying attention, it's just kind of one of those things that just leave and I don't know. I try not to think about it. Sometimes I go to the same place, sometimes it'll come to me and I go, well, I haven't been out there in a while, let's go there. But uh, anyway, I realized I was coming into where the railroad tracks were there in Vader. I was about to come on going, well, there's not going to be no train on Memorial Day. <laughs> Lights start flashing. There they was. I wonder what the odds are of seeing another one. This old stucco church, man, that is cool. Really, really cool. Wow, did you see how old that lawnmower was? Wow, that was like really old. It's just taking a little neighborhood loop. Coming back up. That's Oliqua Creek. You can get enough view of it down there. There's an old uh, caboose that you can see somebody converted into a either an apartment, a house, maybe it was a business. Kind of cool, huh? Oliqua well, Creek has been running to the west of us here and we're going to go across it right here as well. There's your different view. Aliqua is kind of like the Cowlitz. It just snakes around. Oh, that looks good over there. See if I can do this without getting in trouble. There's like some little rapids going down through there. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. Somebody sees me doing this, they're gonna think I'm plum crazy. stopping today oh I'm <laughs> speaking of fifth gear Wow it's 
short shifting's one thing, but dang. Oh, there are choo choo tracks. I just want to sneak out here and see the lights, but you gotta be. Oh, that's a that's a police officer right there. And then we got red over red. There's nothing coming. Lewis County Sheriff. But I didn't stop on the tracks and look like a buffoon. Whoa, what's wrong with you? They're cool out here. I, talk to them off and on and they're just some good old boys what is going across the road here it's elk <laughs> they're coming right at me too oh no it's just deer see the one right there oh there's the other one running there it goes oh look it's three of them in that field that thing's just about ready to be a golf course out there that is really tight and cool looking wow this is pleasing I got a crazy headwind though here here's the test for the old LS2 got down here to the uh, flatlands here it's quite <laughs> it's quite warm kind of get fooled being up in the hills there and uh, that's what's gonna cause our our thunderstorm probably to happen here later on get some heat and that cool rain coming in oh, bang very peaceful though holy moly but there's more of a test to uh, see what she sounds like, how comfortable she is going down the road. Could be happier. She'll be a worthy successor to my old, old Chewy. There's that old rickety <laughs> high five bridge. Kelly and I on the other side of that thing yesterday chat with you I see some more more folks out here again today look the boat ramps clear sorry about that I know that shield's got to be loud I got such a little small hole this is the pickup truck over there nobody's down in the little the cedar tree hole head on back and see what the mama's doing take a quick peek over here yesterday I told you the guy was was walking in the little sandbar thing there he was right at the tip of that when I was pointing down this way with the camera with Kelly yesterday wow is it beautiful out here holy moly have I said that a hundred times yet not maybe maybe 99 we need to throw one more in there I think huh <laughs> 45.74 is the miles per gallon I'm getting out of this thing of course it sits a lot so some of that this time of year well that's probably pretty accurate because I put gas in it three weeks ago so in the winter when they sit for months on end it uh the fuel evaporates and it's kind of skews your your uh, mileage numbers all right I do get some like nicking between the the coat and the 
what do they call it the ratcheting strap on this thing but that could be coat related or it could be helmet related I don't know but certain ways when I turn my head it like nicks me right right about where my Adam's apple is don't do it don't do it thank you thanks for not taking me out all right so I'm gonna rip up the hill and uh we'll talk to you guys later on it's only three o'clock so it's still early in the day heck yeah man we got another six hours of daylight almost Man, even when they look straight at you, you can't trust them. <laughs> you just never know. I mean, when they're looking straight at you, uh, of course I'm looking at them. You know what I mean. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the the ride, the 48 ride, and uh, I hope the helmet sounds good. Um, you guys will know it before me. Not really, but at this point, you will. <laughs> All right. I'll catch you up at the house. Ooh, that's a headwind. Son of a gun. One of those dull day afternoons. I don't know where Danny's at. They were all laid out. I went in to get the camera. Come out. It was too late. Something disturbed them. They got up. Sasha and Annie are in the backyard. Well, hello there, you two. Five hours later, after I talked to you last, I built the vlog up until the goodbye here so I wanted to hear what it sounded like before I talked to you guys perfectly fine not the quietest helmet in the world but it'll work perfectly fine for just doing test rides you know how often I go bombing down the, the highway with that I do occasionally but it'll work thing works great if it can survive you know the headwinds and 60 miles an hour on that little shield on that 48 it'll do good. good yeah I don't know why that thing is so comfortable to ride behind, but it, it's a noisemaker for a helmet. So that's probably about the loudest it'll be. Maybe the street glide with a headwind and 80 miles an hour down the freeway, a little bobbed off shield can, it comes across and bounces off the top of your head and it can be a little loud. Yeah. <laughs> I like that little bobbed off shield. Yeah. I like them nice. like that. But uh, yeah, very relaxing day. The crazy thunder and lightning storm. Passed kinda, us by. Yep, yeah, passed us by out there. I think I was talking to you guys the other day about the storms out there towards Mount St. Helens, how they just kind of float by. Yeah. Yeah, it just, it just skipped by. It didn't come this far west. We're like, whew. Yeah, escaped <laughs> that one. Yeah. But man, what a peaceful, peaceful day. Very peaceful all day. Yeah, which is yeah. a good thing, seeing it's Memorial Day. That's a perfect day. It's a nice, peaceful day. Yeah, a day of reflection. Yep. Yeah. So I hope you guys that um, observed, you know, you had a, a peaceful weekend and enjoyed your Memorial Day weekend if you had the day off, which most people do, but, you know, I know how it is, not everybody. I know it. But uh, anyway, tomorrow, go back, back to the grind. Out. It'll be a short work week. As long as you don't have it in your head from the very beginning that today's Tuesday and it's going to be a short week, you'll psych yourself into having the longest week you've ever had. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> But anyway, we're going to bounce on you. Alrighty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And I hope your Tuesday or Wednesday are wonderful. Heck yeah. All right. All right. Till tomorrow. Till tomorrow. All right. Thank All right. you guys for coming along for the ride. Yes. And I think this is the only footage of Mama being in the vlog. This is more like a motor vlog day it's today. It's all right. <laughs> I'm good with it. Yeah. All right. See all you guys right. tomorrow. You guys take care. Bye-bye now. Bye.